another day goes by and another company drops react native but this time it's facebook oh wait that didn't happen at all and if you read the article you would know this but it is kind of a boring article so on this one i don't blame you for those of you that have no idea what the heck i'm talking about right now Facebook just released a engineering blog post about a new project they're calling Lightspeed. And basically what they're doing is rewriting, rewriting Messenger, Messenger app, at least looks like only on iOS to start off with, to make it faster and smaller. But I actually thought the article was kind of boring because the way that they're accomplishing this is going back to more native code. They already have native code in there, but they want to make it more so. And then also, it seems like they're making SQLite more of a thing that all the services talk to, almost like a source of truth. But overall, there didn't seem like anything special really going on that they were doing in this. See, what's special about this article is nowhere in it does it mention React Native. And that is Facebook's thing that it is known for when it comes to their apps and their mobile development. And they have just not mentioned it whatsoever. But they did mention there being more native, right? So it kind of sounds like, what happened? Does that mean they switched from React Native? And as we'll find out later, they did not switch from React Native, but that is what everyone is wondering after reading this article. What happened to React Native? How come you didn't choose it for this particular project? And it, it, those these questions were not answered. I saw a lot of people asking about this, but probably the most popular one that blew up is from DHH. And he said, did Facebook just kill off React Native? I think it was pretty naive of Facebook not even to mention React Native in the article. Like, it's not hard to predict that that's what people would be wondering about after reading it. And because they didn't, now everyone's talking about React Native and not the article itself. I know the author probably didn't even realize this is something that he should have addressed, and he probably wasn't even thinking about it. He may be just a native developer, and so his mindset is in the native world. But if I was Facebook right now, I would release a company-wide mandate that all blog posts that they release about, you know, mobile development, and they're choosing a architecture that we're going to choose, just write a sentence at the end about why they did or did not choose React Native. Like, all they could have added at the end there was, for this particular project, we're optimizing for speed, and we are optimizing for a low bundle size. Therefore, we did not choose React Native. And because they did not add that... I, as a reader, have to assume these things. So that was my assumption of why they did not choose React Native for this project. Um, but, you know, it could have been something else. Maybe it's because React Native is being killed by Facebook. Who knows? All I'm saying is they should have definitely had a line in there about it. I saw another tweet that said the correct take here is not that React Native is dead. It's that React Native results in slow, bloated apps, and that any team okay with a slow, bloated app can and will continue using it. Now, I think it's a bit of a stretch to make this conclusion based on the article, given that it doesn't even mention React Native and Messenger wasn't even written in React Native in the first place. But if we ignore that for a second, the second half of his tweet, I kind of agree with to some extent. I don't think too many people are trying to argue that React Native is faster and has a smaller bundle size. I think for the most part, they know native code has that. But with native code, you have to write it twice. And so if you can take advantage of the productivity gains of React Native and write that code once, that is pretty huge. And given that Facebook has 750 screens written in React Native, I would say a lot of time your app probably has a less of a performance and a bundle size requirement than Facebook does, and React Native would be a strong choice for you. See, the way I look at it is maybe the bar of what is acceptable is here, and native code may be down here. And for a lot of cases, React Native is like right about here, right? So yeah, it's bloateder and it is slower, uh, but it's still under the bar of what is acceptable. And also this is something where it is gonna be getting closer and closer to where native is as the React Native team makes improvements on it. And I highly doubt if Facebook thought React Native did not have any potential whatsoever, that it would just keep investing in the team. They would just cut ties and stop developing it. So in conclusion, my opinion of React Native has not changed at all because of this. Basically, the takeaway is sometimes you should not be using React Native.